imagine oh, you're checking you up on it. it. Check in on people oh. and you open the door and someone's been knifed to death. And you're like, oh, holy shit. No. And you're you're just realizing you're trying to turn the lights on. Like, what the fuck's going on? And and he's an illegal immigrant. He's from another country. Yeah, so he tried to hide. And like, then the woman blames it on him, and it's just crazy. Oh, it it's, fucking sucks. And these, it's a, such a flawed system. And the thing is, like, there's an incentive for a prosecutor once they're starting to try a case. They want to win that fucking case. They yeah. got a record. They have a reputation. And so they're trying to win. And when it's like a government prosecutor or, you know, like a, a district attorney and they know there's some information that would exonerate that person, they're just like, duh, 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 duh. they yeah. don't give a that fuck. Also, that seems like a problem, making it like competitive yes, for lawyers. It's, it's very bad. To be like, I want to win. They're like DAs that are like, I had, I arrested the most people. Exactly. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Right. Then they run for office. And it's like, remember that? And they're like, I was eh. tough on crime. And then all yeah. of a sudden, 10 yeah. years later, being tough on crime is racist. You're yeah. like, I wasn't tough on crime. Uh, now I I'm the vice weed. president. Yeah, man. <laughs> I didn't call them super criminals. Yeah. <laughs> super, predators. Yeah, super, super predators. Super predators right. is nuts. That's nuts. crazy. That's nuts. crazy he's getting jammed up on like manila folders when he was like kissing 12 year old girls on Dude, camera i don't know uh, Joe jack yeah. i Hanging don't know jack shit yeah. about politics but if i had to guess i'm they're trying to get rid of him yeah that would yeah. my guess would be they're trying to get rid of him if all of a sudden they his own aides are sending these instead of like taking these classified documents which you have located yeah. and go well let's not do that again and fucking locking them up somewhere his own uh. aides Self-reporting, dude. Come on, that dude. sounds sus. Well, no one self-reported that fucking laptop. I know that, that laptop. Was, well, that was Russian disinformation. They, that reeks of they, Russian. They disinformation. They got a hold of the social media companies and lied to them. They did whatever the fuck they could to keep that from happening. And even this, they discovered this before the midterms. Yeah. Yeah. So they that's... didn't release the information until after the midterms. I mean, dude, I mean, everyone said this a million times with, like, the news, if that was flip-flop, if it was, you know, Trump's kid, that would have been all over. It would have been, like, this is the fate of our democracy, rest in the sons of blah, 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 And the blah, media blah. would have gone right along with it. Yeah, and it's, like, so obvious, and it sounds trite, but it's, like, but it's, like, dude, why do and they— this is— who, what's, what's, it, what's the incentive to be like, nah, fuck that guy, not that guy? It's like, that kind of freaks me out. Dude, there's a bunch of us that are just unrepresented. It's the reasonable middle. The reasonable middle of the world. Unrepresented. You got radical left and radical right. You got people that are all in on the Republican Party and you should never get an abortion even if you've been raped. You got yeah. wild shit on that side. And on the other side, you got men can get pregnant. You got yeah. you got all this chaos. You got, you know, FTX. So he, he was just making mistakes. No big deal. It's We should barely even yeah. attack him. We don't even need to bring him in. Come on, guys. Yeah, why yeah. wouldn't they? Pro why would they let that guy off the hook? The number two donor to the Democratic Party. Oh, duh. Number two. <laughs> yeah, like just by George Soros, oh, and they're like, whatever, whatever. No one's freaking out. Everyone I figured it is uh, the Republicans hanging on to that Santos dude. Uh, that is why <laughs> the Republicans are like, no, he's a good dude. That guy he's should just, be in Santos. jail. Santos is a guy who was like, I'm Jewish. Oh, that and dude. And they were like, you're not Jewish. And he's like, I meant Jew-ish. I'm like a Jew. <laughs> like, he's a master of the English language. He's a master of the English True. language. He lied about so many things. He lied about I, everything. I found out about it on the podcast, and then it's I went hilarious. on a deep dive. I'm it's like, so this guy's funny. wild. Dude. I, found out, I was looking at him yesterday. The first article that came up was like, he lied about being a volleyball star. <laughs> like, yeah. dude, that's Who the Have you ever seen Biden lie about his education? Have you ever seen yeah, that yeah, clip? Yeah. Where he lied about his education, and they fact-checked him on the news? What did he say he was? Oh, my God. He just flat out lied about yeah. his credentials. I think it fucked him up in that debate. Oh, or, for sure. Or, uh, he was running a while ago, and he got well, fucked he up Well, he ran on, for president in 88. He, like, plagiarized the speech. Yeah. He did that. Dude, we used to do Joe Biden night at Stitches Comedy Club in Boston, <laughs> where we'd all do each other's acts. That time, Joe Biden huh. lied about his academic credentials. So watch this video, because it's fucking crazy. He was 76 of 85. He was so <laughs> silly. I was in the, I was he might have got it wrong, though. He might have been like 85 at the top. Truthfully, What's a guy that? who finishes 76 oh, would get it wrong. Oh, that's the video. <laughs> yeah, it just says it's the road to the White House. No, this is the video. I've there seen it. Is. He argues with this guy. And the other question oh, is, man. could you quickly... I, I think, we I, I, think I probably Reagan. have a much higher IQ than you do, Ooh. I suspect. Oh, I beast. went to law school on a full academic scholarship, the only one in my, in my class uh, to have a full academic scholarship. 
In the first year uh -huh. in law school, I decided I didn't want to be in law school and ended up in the bottom two-thirds of my class and then decided I wanted to stay, went back to law school, and in fact ended up in the top half of my class. I won the international moot court competition. I was the outstanding <laughs> student in the political science department at the end of my year. I graduated with three degrees from undergraduate school and 165 credits, only need 123 credits, and I'd be delighted Damn. to sit down and compare my IQ to yours if you'd like, Frank. You rewind that and look at the guy who wants to fuck no, him no, so no, bad. Go on. <laughs> you see how happy that guy was? He was like, you're doing it, Joe. I know. <laughs> now, I'm not questioning your IQ up at all. I'm just saying that with the people that we have elected to office in recent years, I think that we have to question their credentials very solidly. Well, I think you're right, Frank. Damn. It, but you know what I find kind of interesting? It seems to me if you can speak, you're at a liability in the Democratic Party anymore. It seems to me you've all become heartless technocrats. It seems to me hey, that you bro. forget that what happens is we've never, as a party, okay, pause this. Never... This is now nonsense. Biden rules. Uh, yeah. Now go to uh, <laughs> nasty, dude. go to the, the article where it says what his actual stats were, because someone fact checked him on the news. It's not in that clip. There's one that they played that clip on the news and then fact checked it. That'd be a nice edit, like cutting that to like now him just fucking bumbling around Technica. on stage talking oh, nonsense. Yeah. He's uh, actually 70th in a class of 85, so he wasn't in the top half. But there was a bunch of other stuff that he lied about in that clip too. The, the, in the the news clip where they check it, this uh, like hardcore news guy goes, "Actually, the true story is." And he just lays it all out. And it's, oh, that blows! Uh, it sucks. A foul you imagine one. if yeah, you're there, lying there and a dork Plain comes to in. Do. Yeah. The new questions stem from With taped remarks of Biden during an April <laughs> campaign appearance in New Hampshire. <laughs> I went to law school Lies, on a full Lies. academic scholarship. Yeah, the only scoot, one scoot in ahead a little to the where can't you can't. Oh, okay. I don't know what it's That's okay. On. Keep playing it. That's crazy. I, in my class, uh, to have a full academic scholarship, <laughs> went back to law school, <laughs> and in fact ended up in the top half of my class. I was the outstanding student in the political science department at the end of my year. I graduated with three degrees from undergraduate school and 165 credits, only needed 123 credits. Biden now concedes he did not graduate in the top half of his law school class. <laughs> oh. That he does not have three degrees from college and that he was not named outstanding political science student in college. Newsweek says Biden actually went to school on a half scholarship, ended up near the bottom of his class, and won only one degree, not three. Joe Biden ranked 76th in a class of 85 at the University of Secur Syracuse Law School. I mean, this guy comes off this whole thing as a flyweight. Now Biden says Newsweek is right. His memory had failed him. Oh, his memory, his memory had failed no. him. My memory had failed me. Like, but his up. memory seems so good right there. It was like the, True. <laughs> that would be so scary if you could rap. Maybe that was the early sign of dementia. Yeah. You could rattle off facts Lies. that you think are fact. Oh boy. I'm Maybe fucked. he believed it. <laughs>